Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the new LEGO Hidden Side 2020 Polybag El Fuego Stunt Cannon. This has one minifigure, 46 pieces, and retails for $5 at Walmart. The El Fuego minifigure is similar to the one in the new Stunt Plane set, but there are some big differences here that keep the one in the Stunt Plane one still exclusive. For example, the face printing just uses a generic smiley skeleton face here, which is kind of inaccurate because he always has that bandage on his face. Compare that to the one on the stunt plane and you can see some more differences, including the expression going on. Also, the one in the stunt plane has a cape. There's no cape in this set. So this does give a cheaper alternative to get that helmet piece, which does have some nice printing there. But other than that, if you want the full experience, you're gonna have to buy the stunt plane. For the build of this set, all we have is this cannon build and it's actually kind of a fun little design. I do like getting the airplane termine piece in this black coloring. That's actually really hard to get in a cheap set like this. Also, they have four wheels at the bottom and some flames popping out, not only at the side of the build, but right at the top as if they lit the cannon. And you just fit El Fuego in the front there. You position it uh, facing upward like this, though you can position it facing downward if you really want, or just position it in a neutral design. It's best to position it in this angle though, so you get the most air time. And push back this piece, El Fuego goes flying. <laughs> that, that's it, it's as simple as that. Let's try that one more time. Ah, oh, he didn't go too far. But that's it for the build of this set. There's not too much else going on here, but it is a very cute and clever build for such a small price. It's similar to the one in Jokerland, if I'm not mistaken, though I never got that set. I just am trying to run off my memory. Let's take a look at the packaging, which is really just instructions, and then the final verdict. For the instructions of the set, they are quite simple. And at the back, they do have an advertisement featuring a lot of the other sets of this wave. I'm still on the lookout for the Hidden Side subway station and also the Lighthouse set, which is just not showing up in store shelves. So if you found them in store shelves in the U.S., let me know where. So overall, I mean, if I had to describe this polybag in one word, it would be fun. It is kind of a letdown that they don't give the full skeleton El Fuego minifigure, missing the new face print and the cape piece, but at least they do give that printed hell of it that comes in quite a few sets. The design of the cannon, while not the most original build, works really well, and I like the use of the black airport or airplane turbine piece. All things considered, for $5 at Walmart, yeah, I'd recommend this. I'd give it a B plus. But what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.